With the release of SharePoint Server 2016, many of you are working on a roadmap for your on-prem farms, but also, more importantly, how your organization can start getting value from the cloud sooner rather than later. Over the next few minutes, we'll discuss how to start your journey to the cloud, including which new cloud scenarios make sense to deliver first to your on-prem users through a hybrid configuration, how these experiences light up for your end users, the different hybrid configuration options available for admins, and lastly, how to start data migration projects when you are ready with our Fast Track Center. Whether you have a long-term commitment to keep the bulk of your company's assets in an on-prem farm, or whether you're planning a full transition to a 100% cloud deployment in the future, the question still remains. If I want to start getting value from the cloud today, where exactly do I start? Many people think that the journey to the cloud starts with a complicated data migration project, but we have found that in most cases, data migration is not the start of the journey, but really the final lap. The easiest way to get value out of the cloud now is to augment your existing on-prem farm with new useful cloud services via hybrid. Let's look at what you can do now with SharePoint Server 2016 in your own data center, but connected with Office 365 cloud services. One of the design principles of hybrid is that while you admins out there know exactly what services are deployed and how they are configured, actual end users should not need to understand what is on-prem versus what's in the cloud and shouldn't see any seams in their experience. In Office 365, we created the App Launcher as a common navigation that gets you to your sites and services across the breadth of workloads in Office 365. With SharePoint Server 2016, we brought the App Launcher to on-prem. It's useful even if you haven't moved to the cloud yet to help users quickly navigate through the product. But in a hybrid world, it really shines. The App Launcher plays a key role in connecting users to workloads regardless of whether they are served from on-premises or from the cloud. And as you start to deliver new cloud services to your organization via hybrid, you also find the App Launcher is critical for end user discovery of these new applications and services. Let's look at what the experience is like if you delivered OneDrive from the Office 365 cloud via hybrid. There is indeed an on-prem version of OneDrive for Business included in SharePoint Server 2016, and it's a great upgrade from 2013. But for those of you who are looking to get one foot in the cloud, deploying the cloud version of OneDrive instead of the on-prem version makes a lot of sense as your first move. The very large quota sizes, seamless access from remote locations with no VPN required, and always the latest and greatest web and mobile experiences has really tipped many of our customers into selecting our cloud offering of OneDrive. As you can see here, even though the user started from an on-prem team site, by using the App Launcher, he navigated easily to the cloud version of OneDrive with the user not really needing to know where the backend is. Another popular cloud service to deploy via hybrid is our Office 365 video service. In partnership with Azure Media Services, we have built a ready-to-go video service that you can deploy today. Additional customizations of the service so it fits your needs is optional but not mandatory. And with the push of a button, you can deploy an easily discoverable video service for your whole enterprise, full of the modern experiences you would expect, such as commenting, viewing statistics, and through the power of the Office Graph, intelligent trending and curated content that engages your employee base. And as you expected, you can easily embed a cloud-based video directly into a SharePoint page on an existing on-prem site. Let's talk about SharePoint sites. Another common scenario is the need for a collaboration space so your employees can get work done with people from outside your organization, such as your supply chain. Up to now, your choices have been to have this collaboration happen outside of your control or allow these external guests to poke through your firewall and access your internet. With the Office 365 Cloud, there is a better way, the hybrid extranet. Using a SharePoint site from the Office 365 Cloud you can easily create a safe and secure collaboration space so your employees, as well as their external partners, can get their work done in an environment in which you control. But now many employees have critical sites they need to get back to on a daily basis, but their content is now divided up into two environments, one on-prem and one in the cloud. Let's talk about other features we can deliver to you to make hybrid seamless for your users. Our Office 365 Sites page has been designed to be the one place you have to remember to get back to all the group insights you care about. Our new version, shown here, powered by Delve and the Office Graph, will keep your users connected with the content they are looking for. Now, when you enable hybrid sites, the App Launcher will start navigating your users to our new modern cloud-based sites page, 
which will enumerate both their on-prem and cloud sites all in one place. Your users just don't have to understand or care where their content is. It's just one click away. The next opportunity for you to bring together a seamless end user experience is through hybrid search. By doing so, you consolidate to one search index in the Office 365 cloud, combining all the content from your different environments, both on-prem and the cloud, in one place. As you can see here in this example, by searching for SharePoint marketing, I see a combined relevancy result set for all of my content, be it in the cloud or in my on-prem farm. Note that none of your data that needs to remain on-prem has moved anywhere. It's still on-prem. This allows you to have one organizational-wide search experience to find all of your content, no matter where it resides. But the value of enabling hybrid search for your organization doesn't end there, because the SharePoint Search Index is deeply integrated with the Office Graph. Delve helps your users find relevant, trending content in your organization. Even with the bulk of your content still on-prem, by enabling hybrid search, we can start delivering experiences like Delve to your employees today. Not only do I get an immediate view of the most relevant, interesting content based on what the graph knows about me, but I can do a directed search and quickly find the content I've been looking for. Once you have seen how Delve and the Office Graph can enable richer experiences for your end users, our next step is to move to our hybrid profile, a Delve-powered experience that integrates and replaces the existing on-prem SharePoint profile. With a few clicks, your users can find and interact with their colleagues in new exciting ways, such as seeing the documents they have shared with you, browsing the local org chart, leaving praise, catching up on their blog, initiating a Skype chat, and more. We also have an API to add some of your own custom attributes if needed. These are a great set of experiences, but what exactly did you have to do as the admin to configure and deploy them? To start, let's look at how we set up OneDrive and hybrid sites. After you set up Azure Active Directory Sync with your on-prem farm, it's time to navigate over to the SharePoint Admin Center in your Office 365 tenancy. Here, want to run one of our hybrid configuration wizards. After that's completed, you want to move on to your central admin in your on-prem farm and look at further customization options that you might want to take advantage of. If you remember the hybrid extranet solution we deployed earlier, one of the more popular customization options is to limit the amount of external sharing that actually occurs. With our new allow and deny list, you control what external organizations your employees are allowed to collaborate with. Now, in regards to hybrid search, it remains the same as in SharePoint Server 2013. You create a cloud search service application in your on-prem farm, connect this service application to your Office 365 tenancy, and then start a crawl of your content. We just walked you through a ton of value you can start delivering to your organization today, and we haven't even gotten around to thinking about data migration yet. But at some point, you'll be ready to start pushing content you currently maintain on-prem to your cloud tenancy, and we're here to help. The Fast Track Center provides assistance in getting up and running in the Office 365 cloud, including migration services. We now support migration projects from on-prem file shares as well as importing from third-party services such as Google Drive and Box. Later, coming soon, we will also be delivering direct migration services for on-prem SharePoint site collections, including MySite and OneDrive on-prem. That was just a brief overview of the current set of hybrid and migration services Microsoft is delivering today to help you move your organization to the cloud at the pace that's right for you. But just around the corner, we have more that we will be delivering to you, including SharePoint Insights, which allows you to upload your on-prem audit logs for a consolidated view across your environments in the Office 365 Compliance Center. Enhancements to our hybrid configuration wizard for an even easier setup and deployment. And hybrid taxonomy, which gives you one master taxonomy database across on-prem and cloud. Coming up with the right cloud strategy to move your business forward can be a daunting challenge, but Microsoft is here to help. Not only can we assist you in defining your long-term cloud strategy, but in the short term, we can help you make that first step in that journey and deliver value to your organization today. To learn more, check out the resources on FastTrack. Thank you for watching.